Hi, sir. Hi, ma'am. What's your name? My name is Nagu Bhushparani. Mm -hmm. So, do you comfortable with your name? Yes, ma'am. Somewhat lengthy. I had a few issues with it, but right now I'm okay with it. Do you express your feeling like you are not comfortable or you have issue? You had issues with your parents? No, I didn't express it, but because uh, I had an, an allies name also. So basically, in my home, they didn't call me Naga Pushparani. They called me through my allies name. So it felt comfortable in my home. Only when I was in public, in a professional setting, it made me feel slightly bad since it was longer and I had to explain to people how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. So in that setting, it felt bad, but. Otherwise, one point I accepted that, okay, this is my name, you know, I have to own my identity. Okay, that's good. Sounds good. So, I, the only point I just want to add on is, like, uh, as you said, like, you're uncomfortable while at outside, right? Yeah. Have you expect, uh, expressed that to your parents? You are not comfortable? At one point I did, uh, but I think I later, uh, it was, I was a teenager then and I understood, you know, once I got into college, it made me feel better to have a unique name. Because in my class, there were four Hariharans. It's better to have one Naga Pushparani than four Hariharans. Sounds good. Great. Yes, Madam, you've done your undergraduation in engineering. Yes, sir. Why then MBA? Why not a PG in engineering? I come from a family of engineers, which basically persuaded me also to do engineering. But through engineering, I found that my real passion lay in management and leadership. So, so. This, is what, so this is what lakhs and lakhs of engineers say. Yeah. What do I believe then? But sir, I think it was journey of self-discovery through engineering. I think All I, these lakhs of people have done self-discovery, found out engineering is not their cup of tea. Maybe the problem lies in Indian educational system, sir. I don't know. So how can we correct this Indian education system that a lot of people don't get regrets after they leave? I think uh, basically, you know, when schooling people have to have, you know, chances and opportunities to discover that, you know, what really you know, works for them because I didn't have that opportunity during my schooling that, you know, I was actually interested in leadership. How practical you are in saying during the schooling we can find out what works for them? I think opportunities need to be provided, you know, instead of this system is basically like, you know, run for it, fight for it, that kind of system. It's be, I think the system needs to change into something like, you know, discover yourself, go and search yourself instead of, you know, run towards something. I don't think it should be like that. Are there any institutions which you say, which is like discover yourself institutions in India? Yeah, there's one such school in Madurai, you know, which, you know, differs from the traditional way of schooling of 9 to 5. Uh, it basically, you know, the schooling time, school timing is different. It has a morning batch and afternoon batch. I think, you know, that itself is one different initiative. So I see like, I see myself like that. But still, I don't get an answer for why do you look at a management as an option besides any other engineering PG. Sir, engineering provides me with the technical aspects. Uh, management, you know, it brings my core characteristics, you know, my leadership characteristics, my, you know, organizational leadership characteristics, you know, as technical skills is needed. You know, in, you take any job, technical skills is obviously needed. But I think in today's world, without a core characteristic of having a leadership quality or a teamwork, a team, team character, you can't survive. So can I put these core characters as the first step? And below that, can I put technical skills? Yes, sir. I believe that. So, can I derive from that that every engineering student should get into management? No, sir. Because few people through engineering itself, they are gaining that core characteristics or through their schooling or through their experience or opportunities, they gain that skills. But, you know, not many of us have that opportunity to gain, you know, okay, I can be a leader. I am a leader. I think I only realized it during the later part of my college years that, okay, I have something in me that makes me a leader so i think it it's about the opportunities if people who have the opportunities you know which helps them you know build that core characteristics they can just be engineers because they already have that characteristics but myself i don't so i want i need an mba to build that characteristic in me and what are you going to do after your mba after my mba i plan to work for 2 3 years sir then i plan to you know create a startup which is basically a service oriented startup i'm still Figuring it out, but I, I hope I'll figure oh, it out. How many startups have Micah produced in the last few, four years or three years? Uh, I exactly don't know the data. Sir. Yeah. How old is Micah? Uh, it was established in 1991. So I think it's around uh, 32, 33 years. 
I'll give you two names. Just okay. give me a connection between them. Preeti Shroff and Shefali Gupta. Preeti Shroff and Shefali Gupta. I think I've heard about them. I think they might be my Kalme, but I'm not sure, sir. Okay. What is your opinion about brands? Brands? Sir, I believe every each and everybody is a brand you know you need to have a brand in order to you know prove that you have a unique identity in this world you can't just be a set you know you can't go and place yourself among a group of people and say you know i'm this you need to have your own brand so i think branding is necessary not just for business but for people also okay consider that as a as a right answer now let us look at the companies and the organizations if you look at the institutions like mica Many of our students get into branded organizations. Yes. They work on branded organizations, make a career. Besides that, there are a lot of branded uh, organizations which are there in India, which is building the nation. Yes. And all of these are private brands, they are not government brands. Considering that, do you support or do you think it is right to privatize Indian railways? Sir, I think uh, it's a... I don't think... It should be privatization. Yes, privatizations can be encouraged, but I think when it's something such as transport system, especially Indian railways, I think it's better to have the control with the, with the government. Because Every brand organization has a controlling authority for the government. So yes, this can also go like that, right? Yes, but privatization, I believe, especially in such a public you know entity such as railways, I don't think you know it it will be for purely business and people. At one point, I think it will dilute the original objective of you know having a railways because you know yes privatization will bring innovation it will bring creativity it will make you know it will make it better but i don't see you know i think the ultimate control should lie within the government the government Law control for every private organization every sector is always with the government uh, i believe as you said sir you know the ultimate co control can be with the government uh, but if you know the government can provide few opportunities to the private companies or you know uh, basically the government has also has been you know recruiting from private colleges for you know railway projects and such so i think it also uh, encourages people to bring in the creativity some diverse characteristics into it okay fine what are the disadvantages of having a brand i don't see any disadvantages in having a brand sir basically it's about how you present yourself unless and otherwise you present yourself wrong then you as a brand are wrong so I think brand is something that's needed, but it's about the way you present yourself. Okay, what are the other colleges you applied? I've applied for uh, Irma, Nirma and uh, TAPME, sir. And all of these are different, different sectors? Yeah. So aren't you sound like a very confused person? No, sir, I don't. Uh, because I believe my long-term goal actually aligns with all of these. Uh, you see, as I said, my long-term goal is to own a startup, especially in, uh, I actually will come back to rural India and startup. So the rural segment covers IRMA and my, a general PGDM gives me the basics of, you know, operational and every other thing. And my startup right now, my idea is to create a startup in marketing segment. So MICA provides me with a specific niche, you know, uh, knowledge, which I need. So I think it covers all my basics. So I'm fine with wherever I go. I will utilize it to my own advantage. So, just as you said, like uh, being into my car, what is your take on digital media and women? Digital media and women, ma'am, uh, I believe today women are becoming empowered through digital media itself because you know, digital media is, is the one media that we consume more and more, and the digital media consumption has increased largely through the past three years, especially since COVID. So, more women are coming out. You know, they are telling their stories. I basically view digital media as an art of storytelling. You tell your story, you create an impact, you create an experience through which people watch, people inspire, people, you know, people start to create their own journey. So I think digital media and women, now many more women are coming out, they are establishing themselves through the digital media. And I'm glad that digital media has become a platform which has helped women, you know, in empowering themselves. Okay, being a woman and you are planning to go to Gujarat. Yes. So, what is your build of supporting network over there? Ma'am, I believe Gujarat uh, is a very well established state. So, uh, and it speaks for itself, you know, its achievements and it speaks for itself. And uh, MICA is one such institution which has a very good gender ratio. It has a one is to one gender ratio. So, basically, it's 50% male and 50% females. So I think I'll be very much comfortable there and it's a place of exchanging creative ideas. So I, I do, gender doesn't matter there. I go there to 
connect with people to connect with people who have the same ideas same thoughts or even different thoughts than me so that it will encourage me to you know it will widen my perspectives and widen my area of expertise fine adding one more point to the uh, to the last question like as you said like uh, you want to have a startup in a rural area yes. and you definitely need a team yes, so uh, we i think like there should be some uh, conflict in the team Mm-hmm. Being working especially in the rural area, yes. and how you will navigate through the team conflict, and how you establish your uh, potential over there. Um, I believe as a team leader, and even through my guides, important to listen to the ideas of all people, and then you have to, you know, come to a conclusion. In many a ways, you know, people are only listening to ideas from the top management, not you know from people who you know it may be an intern, it may be a you know employee, whoever it is. You have to listen to because these ideas they they can be revolutionary. So I think when conflicts come, it's basically communication. You know that's why my guides communication. You have to communicate as a team. You know you have to understand. You know what are the objective of doing a project. You know what's the objective. Where are we right now standing? And you know what's the okay. What's the majority speaking? How can we approach it? If we sit and communicate, I think any conflicts can be resolved. Especially in rural, yeah, I think rural the now rural uh, term as doesn't me- matter anymore, man, because people are coming from across all parts of India. Can you mention it so specifically yes, that ma'am. you want to? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I want to establish here because I believe this is missing. You know, there is uh, the the startup I imagine is missing here, so I want to start it here. But the people I'm looking for are al- already here. so i i need not worry about people i need to worry about you know establishing myself here as a community bringing together that together that set of people and establishing my business as a brand which state in india has the narrowest uh, rural urban divide i don't know exactly sir no problem you also saying that in an organization the management takes the decision and they need to listen to the interns mm-hmm. staffs and other types of people yes. working for that do you have the opportunity to work somewhere yes sir i did my internship in an educational institute through which i had various learnings and various you know it widened my perspective and i think it has also brought me here you know did you see that culture there yes sir definitely you know that work culture it it changed my perspective because you know after i done i completed my engineering my set of people were all working in it's 9 to 5 jobs you know their work ethics and work culture was totally different so when i joined an educational institute i had literally next to no idea you know how the work culture will be there the work ethics will be there it was completely new to me it threw me off guard but i think you know that made me more that made me build my resilience and i think the work culture there also uh, encouraged me to explore my creativity it made me curious it made me meticulous so i started planning i was in charge of the planning i was in charge of the organization i was in, st- in charge of executing the planning also and they provided me with various opportunities through which i was able to grow myself and you know right now i'm in front of you great now you see that the present workforce which is going to come into the nation is of the millennial yes. mindset right i may be wrong you may correct me currently the situation is millennial mindset people are very let's say not very committed mm-hmm. they don't give long term commitments they look for only short term gratifications is that true among you and your friend circle Sir. if yes then how do you think a company or a corporate can take you and grow amongst me i don't know i look for long term gratification if not i wouldn't have done an mba i would obviously gone for a job you know 60k 70k any job so amongst my friends yes because they are looking for the short term gratification yes uh, i think uh, as a company you know every every each and every company has a long term goal and they have multiple short term goals to achieve that long term goal so basically the company can you know in order to achieve a long term gratification they can provide multiple short term gratification which will automatically lead to that long term gratification thank you a lot of good answers there are here questions sorry a lot of questions you had good answers specifically the way you handled your name part or um, um how old is mica or specific questions like what are your plans after mba what other colleges have applied and why it is connected with them? it's not a diversification uh, how do you how will you handle if you go to gujarat mm-hmm. it's a fantastic answer 
right? But there are also areas where we can improve. Okay. Questions like uh, MBA or engineering PG, not very. Yeah, so you were fumbling, you know, thinking about it, and you came up with a very cliched answer. I am fine if it's a very genuine answer, but it sounded very cliche to me. Second, question on um, this millennial mindset. There is nothing wrong in your thought, but you have to use different words. There is okay. nothing called long term gratification. It's called delayed gratification, ah, instant, instant gratification. gratification. That is the word we need to use. When the question was asked about a disadvantage of brand, mm -hmm. you sounded Harsh to the panel. Understand. There's a lot of you, yeah. and the body language when you said you was very mm -hmm. aggressive. You need to calm down. Probably you may have to say us or normally mm -hmm. an organization or an individual, mm -hmm. one person. You can mellow it down. Yes. Okay. Okay. You were not able to answer the connection between Preeti Shroff and Shefali Gupta, which is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong. It's a current affairs. You may not know one or two questions. Perfectly fine. You should not disturb. You. Privatization of railways not very convincing. I am sure you like yeah. working on some points, but you need to work on it because yeah. you yourself said it is good. You yeah. having advantages, then you were like not able to agree that why privatization. So you need to work on those areas. Okay, good. Please catch up with some uh, content on Micah. More, you yes. had a lot of work done on it. Just a little more on that. Be a little more clear about your future. Um, Operations which you want to get into the startup and all because today the words like startup or entrepreneurship sounds very really glamorous in the peaceful interview. If it is backed up with some planning, it is backed up with some data or a thought, then it will sound very genuine. Otherwise, things are fine. Thank you.